Welcome to a toy kind of mood. This week we're joined with my boy Kevin. Hello. And Robert. And this week we are going to be covering uh, the news, some news this week, big news from NECA. Uh, we're also going to be covering, uh, as you can tell by our thumbnail, Masters of the Universe, and um, any other happenings this week. Of course, we got some plunder. So um, let's roll right into the news. Um, this week, um, right? Um, this week, NECA. Huge announcements from NECA reveals of the year. Um, anybody that watches this knows we have a passion for the uh, Ninja Turtle line. Mm -hmm. um, so far, they've announced one big thing for a lot of us guys on the East Coast that never get any toys from the NECA line Ninja Turtles. Um, they're going to be doing a target massive restock soon. This week or so is what I'm hearing. Um, they're going to be they're going to be restocking the uh, Trag and Granite Tour two pack, mm -hmm. which I know some of us have, some of us don't. I have it. Uh, they're also going to be um, restocking the Zorax and uh, Zork two pack. Mm -hmm. Did any of you guys have those? Are you interested in those two at all? Uh, I don't want the dinosaur one, but I do have the Trag and Granitor. I already got the Trag and Granitor one. Uh, nice. I have that one as well. But there's, one um, more, there's one more too, right, Ron? There is. There is one more. There is the Rodney Roadkill. Yes. I so do, I need that. That one I might get. Too. That one I'll get. Yeah. If you guys see it. Pick it up for your boy Kevin Lish. I oh, yeah, I'll be able to go. Uh, I was just in uh, Target with Travis uh, last week, and we saw a ton of uh, Baxters and uh, Splinters. That's really? Like shelf I haven't seen any of them. Yeah. Wow. A ton of them. Like, like, we went to two Targets. Both Targets had like 12 on the shelf. Then, you know what? Uh, when uh, that new Stimmy hits, I might have you pick one up for me. All right. Right. Are that's when the one, yeah, that's when the one fig that I, I mean, on the East Coast, you know, we said it last week, I can't ever get any. And to see you guys posting that there's shelves of them and everybody has them in hand, it's been awesome because uh, one of the guys in our, our chat, KJ, was able to hook me up. So I have one in the mail coming, should be here next week. Good. Um, I know, you know, more NECA news. Uh, another big thing, they gave us first looks of some of their upcoming lines. Uh, more currently, something that's rumored to be released sooner than later, most likely in the first quarter, if not a month or so from now, rumors. Mm -hmm. um, but they did show off the Rat King and um, Vernon two pack. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think of that, Kev? Uh, I have that pre ordered on Robot Kingdom just in case. But if they're going to be pumping out, you know, two packs like left and right, I might just cancel my pre order before I even oh. get it because I'm, I'm spending the $25 on the, in the shipping from Hong Kong. But like for at first, these were, you know, these were impossible to get. And so I can't, like, I'd say probably Vernon Rat King is my last big, big want. That they've announced so far i'll probably want um more of what and i'll let you uh, announce those um but there's some more rumors that they've got of what's coming out and like what's uh what's been shown and I'll, I'll want some of those but not all of those not not where i would pay over retail for them i could put it to you that way right now are you interested in those at all robert the uh rat king and i mean they look awesome but probably not uh just having to watch money for because the wedding and all that good stuff uh um, right. but I have already have the turtle, the rash shredder, and I kind of want Splinter. The only reason I'd get Splinter and, and, and Baxter is to complete the good and the bad, really. Um, right. Other than that, I might have to like hold off on Rat King, which uh, which sucks because he looks beautiful. He looks oh amazing. God, yeah. Yep. As, uh, as you guys can see on screen now, we're going to have some slides up showing the figures. Um, yep. As a fan of the cartoon when I was a kid, it, it's like they took it right off the screen. Yeah, I mean, it looks so awesome. It comes with the little rats too, and it, you know, wow. even the the multiple heads for Vernon. You know, where you got his, you know, his TV persona, and then you have him as his transformed form head, and it just looks awesome. I mean, the detail, and of course, the stills that we're gonna we've shown uh, are from NECA, so they're posed the right way. They're kind of cinematic with the background, so um, I think the detail looks awesome. I'm I'm pretty yeah, psyched about that. Straight off the screen, yeah, right. it's beautiful. The, um, the next uh, big release for, uh, or news, I should say, coming out of NECA this week was coming later in 2021 is now this is what you had foreshadowed to uh, a few minutes ago there, Kev, is the, um, they're going to be releasing some more figs. They're going to be releasing Mando Gecko, yep. Chrome Dome, which I, I'm a fan of. I want that. Muckman and Genghis and Rasputin Frogs. I do want those, the frogs. Yeah, so I what, want, what do you think? I want the frogs, and I want uh, Mondo Gecko. I love Mondo Gecko. I don't know why as a kid I loved him, but I loved Mondo Gecko. Awesome. I don't remember the episode. I'm going to have to go rewatch because I have the entire collection, so I'm going to have to go rewatch his episode. I, right. he, he was in a couple episodes, I think. See, the reason I don't 
I don't remember him from the the cartoon per se, but from the comic books because I read the Adventures of Ninja Turtles. So yeah. yep, yeah, I remember them from the from the cartoons, but vaguely they weren't like premier characters. Uh, in my as as a kid, it wasn't something that resonated with me as much. Um, I definitely remember uh, Mando Gecko and Chrome Dome again. Oh, Chrome you know? Dome, yeah. Yep. You can't, you can't. He was kind of like an iconic, like B list villain in the in the world of of Ninja Turtles. I mean, you always had the main hitters, you know, Crane. You know, you had uh, Shredder, Super Shredder, many variants. And um, and I'm 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 happy. I mean, showing NECA that they're they're coming f- like you know Turtle strong, as they say, you know Ninja Turtles forward, and and not me being just now starting it into the NECA line. I'm giddy. I'm happy about it. Um, moving on to an, something that might be some mixed emotions about from NECA coming out of is uh, Back to the Future Doc Brown fig. <laughs> uh, Robert, I can see by your face. What, do, what are your thoughts on that? You know, when, okay, I'm looking at it right now on my phone. Uh, you know what a figure can get too lifelike? <laughs> it, it looks it looks almost too. And it's not, then both facial features are not flattering whatsoever. They're I've... very off-putting there we go off-putting it's off-putting yep they're very uh sideshow freaks you know almost looks like tim burton-esque in yeah. my in my eyes the sculpt like, I didn't, i've never seen uh christopher <laughs> lord's mouth get that like it, re- it reminds me of uh, beetlejuice you know when they're the the ghost they're trying to scare the family yeah. out she stretches her mouth open i mean obviously not to that extreme but it's close so um what do you think kevin what, what's your thought on that fig um I'm not really into the Back to the Future line per se, but I did see stills of it and pictures of it, and it is a it's a little freaky looking. <laughs> it, Christopher Lloyd looks like he's like I don't know like electrocuted or he always had that kind of like look anyway in, in the in the movies, um, but it, it's a very strange action figure, and I mean, I it's just with the expense and like I'm I'm like I like Back to the Future movies, but to to buy the figures from those movies, I'm just not that big of a fan. I only got one. I just wanted the Marty. The author. I just wanted that one, and that was it. I knew you got Marty, so I didn't know if this if you want to even consider getting this as a compliment to it. But I, I think they look so different. I mean, Marty looks so awesome. Yeah. Right. And yeah. This one looks. It's like I don't know if you guys remember. I think it was short run too, but they used to have a Back to the Future cartoon. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think almost like they took this from the cartoon aspect because it seems more larger than light, more animated than than reality when it comes to how his face looks. Well, they have that. At the Target across the street from me, they've got the tune, the NECA tune, Back to the Future figures there, and those look great. Like I'd buy that Doc Brown and Marty like all day, every day. Uh, but yeah, this one, like it is, yeah. I think your, I think your Beetlejuice uh, comparison is is a- appropriate. Cool. Yeah. All right, we're gonna be moving on to the great last shot. of the news. Last of the news this week. Um, I know a lot of us were hunting for it online. Uh, Marvel uh, She Hulk. She was uh, pre-orders up. Uh, I was a pre-order or was it released? I know everybody went on and tried grabbing it as much as they could. Um, I think it went on Amazon was a big, big seller for it. I, th- I think she drops in February. I think it's a pre-order. February, right? So it was yeah. a pre-order, yeah. The um, I think the sculpt looks amazing. The variants and the faces, which you're going to see on screen. Um, you know, they got the human eyes, one of them. Such detail where she has her, even though she's green skin, she has her human face details. Uh, her regular human, human-esque eyes, you know, the, the elongated um, female looking face. And then they have the alternate head, which is straight up, you know, She-Hulk rage, uh, you know, monster white eyes, the hair flying crazy, you know, her necks and then her face seems to be a little more veined and pushed out, like, you know, she's, like she's mid-rage. Um, what do you guys think of that, Kev? Let's start with you. What do you think of that fig? Um, I like the fig, um, but it's just that I already have the, um, I already have the gray version, the one from the Super Scroll Wave, because uh, she was actually, that was really uh, dope, that, that figure. Uh, her and uh, Dr. Doom were the, were the hard to get figures from that way. But yeah, Robert's got it back there. Yeah. Um, mine's in the box. Um, so like, because I have that, I'm probably, I'm probably going to pass on this one just because they look so similar. Yeah. Um, but I know Travis ordered it. So I'll just get to vicariously, uh, you know, live through it through when I see it. But that's, yeah. Right. It's such a, such it's, a good looking fig. It is really good. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm kind of with, Kevin on this one like I I do I do like the new one like I do like the green uh but I actually kind of like the the face sculpt on like the hair on this one more yeah because it's I, I agree the, the hair looks like it's flowing more the way it's in her face and the way exactly it's it does 
So I, I, I think I, I will pass on. I mean, I, I do, I do like the like what you said, like that they had like that Bill, uh, that Lou Ferrigno, uh, Hulk out in her eyes, and these are just pure green. But I'll probably just stick with this one. Just uh, I, I, I don't need to repaint. And that's how I, kind of what I feel yeah. it is. Yep, it's it's such minute detail change besides the color. Um, that if you did already have the gray, there's no yeah. real need to spend another twenty two dollars or even more if you have to pay for shipping, depending if you have Prime or not or whatever, or even other exactly. sites. Exactly. Um, I don't have it. I want it. I think I'm gonna wait because I see that eight months from now being one of those Amazon November deals where you start seeing the figs from earlier in the year released, even mm -hmm. if they're only $5 cheaper, but we've all seen it. We've all stocked up this year. Oh, this holiday season that passed. Yeah. You start seeing things go for 18 instead of 22 and so forth. And I'll jump on that definitely then. I mean, the Ninja yeah. Turtles neckline is, is, is draining the bank as we know. Um, and, and with all these releases, some coming sooner than later, I got to be prepared. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I know, you know, all these Marvel Legends and different things like that, these different toys that we've talked about, the Ninja Turtle Knuckle line brings me back to my childhood, but nothing really touches home going back to our childhood than Masters of the Universe. Um, our generation grew up watching the cartoons, you know, we held, a lot of us had, or exactly, a lot of us had or didn't have the figures, you know, that we want, yep. and yep. top, you know, right. going into topic of show, He-Man, Masters of the Universe, and me, yeah. meaning us. Yeah. Stories from our childhood. Kev, if you want to kick that off, um, you want to show kind of kind of what figs you got right now and tell us a little bit about your background and your uh, collective joy of the toy. Show and tell. Uh, actually, um, what a lot of people don't know in our chat is that He-Man and She-Ra is like, kind of like my number two passion of the stuff I collect. So this is the original, original 1980s Battle Cat. So Ooh. the card is actually pretty good, except the plastic inside of it is like, you can't really see on camera, but it's yellowed. Um, I got this as a Christmas gift from one of my friends. Uh, I don't know how much he spent on it. I'm going to assume probably quite a bit of money. But then again, she also did buy it uh, 20 years ago. Excuse me, 20 years ago. So I don't really know that eBay prices were as insane as they are now. But um, yeah, I, I keep it on card because it's just, it's classic Battle Cat. Remember as a kid, I had a tough time getting it because we didn't have things like, you know, eBay or whatever back then, which is, it, it's good and it's bad because if you're like looking for something, you just basically had to be at the store, mm. luck, luck of the draw. And we didn't have Pop Find or anything like that where we could tell if they had something coming in. You just had to just keep on haunting Toys R Us. And I was on the East Coast. So oh, you, you're on the East Coast. I had, we had Child World. And, uh, yep. KB, I think, was national. KB Toy Works, Toys R Us. Um, uh, um, a couple others ran. That, well, the, that's the other thing. We had way more toy stores than we have now. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, that was uh, as a kid. Now, did you have a day you went like me? It was always Saturday and Saturdays. I, my mother wanted to go out and do, you know, grocery shopping at, at Al Max, you know, and she'd go to the grocery store. Right next door was Toys R Us. So I'd always go in and is there any like memories like that with you or going yeah. shopping for toys or anything? Well I, was, well, I was a spoiled only child and uh, my, my mom was just, a, you know, a board housewife. So we'd be in the store quite a bit. The store we would go to the most frequently that was called Bradley's. Yep. Um, I think they probably had them in Massachusetts. It's kind of like a Target or a Walmart. They're, they're now defunct. I think they got absorbed by Kohl's. Yeah. Um, and then, um, yeah, we used to go to Bradley's probably like once or twice a week. Not as often as I go to Target now, because you guys know I go to Target I'd be basically every day. Um, but uh, we used to go, we'd go to uh, Bradley's and sometimes Caldor's as well and find toys there. Because like to drive to Toys R Us, where I was raised in New Jersey, uh, it was far and it was kind of a pain in the neck to get to. And so we, it was a special occasion if we would ever go to Toys R Us for like my birthday or Christmas or, you know, Easter or Halloween or something. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we would do. Um, I got a couple more things to show off too for He-Man. This was, uh, the Ram Man from the Maddie Collector series. Ooh, that's nice. I, so I have all of these. And so, um, one of the things that they're releasing now is, uh, Robert's going, um, full hog on that. These are the origins figures. Yep. So Mattel, this is the new Mattel of what's coming out now. This is what the older, um, series was like when they had it on Maddie Collector and it was a subscription service. And then it was eventually uh, taken over by Super 7. And then uh, I have something to show off from Super 7. Well, this is a Mattel one, actually. This Ooh. is Super 7. But this is I a, wanted that so badly. This yeah. The, the Filmation Skeletor, which leads me into a little teaser. I'm going to be placing him on his bone throne when I do my unboxing for Snake Mountain tomorrow. That's actually done by Super 7. Let me see if I have something done by Super 7. 
I do. I'm digging that shirt, Kevin, by the way. I'm digging it. <laughs> it's also from Super 7, believe it or not. They, those guys really love He-Man and Master Universe. Um, and I, I, you can really see like the passion that they have for it because they're always at the power con. This is Prince Adam that they did. The uh, yeah. Prince Adam. I wanted those so badly. So yeah, keep them in the box. That's the thing. You got got the Super Seven logo on it, um, and it just really looks like it just jumped right out of the cartoon. One of the things that I like the best about the Neck and Ninja Turtles line and the um, uh, Super Seven and, and you know Mattel animated line is that they do look like they just came right out of the cartoon. And I got some out of the box. I got Evelyn, so she looks like she just came right out of the cartoon. That was a, done by Mattel, and I got Shira. And she also looks like she just jumped out of the cartoon as well. This yep. one's a Super 7 one. Um, I just really like all of the animated counterparts. It's like when I collect Transformers, I collect the masterpiece because they look basically like their animated counterparts. It's like as a kid, I just always wanted my toys to look like what I was watching on the screen. And then I, I guess like, you know, of course I, I collected those He-Man figures and those Ninja Turtles figures because I mean, that's what we had. We didn't, you know, I, I beggars can't be choosers. It's either that or nothing. Right. So now we have, uh, now we have lots of other choices. And, and I mean, I like the origins line um, it's starting to grow on me better than it used to. I did mm. pre-order the land shark because I'm not sure if it's going to fit in scale with these. Like, I don't know if like I can, you know, if I could squeeze her in, we'll see. I don't know. Like, hopefully, Mattel would be smart if they did make it larger scale to accommodate the older figures. And uh, I did pre order Orko as well because he looks a little bit more animated than the one that Mattel did uh, many years ago. This one doesn't quite look like the cartoon. I mean, yeah. it, looks, it looks okay, but the one that they've got for Origins looks a lot more like the cartoon. Yeah. See, to me, that one looks very similar to the one I had as a kid. Um, speaking of Origins, the new Origins there, they are animation colored where the ones we had as kids they were a little muted i mean the, the coloring process was different with the materials mm -hmm. that's the big difference i see from the new origins is that the color looks a little more cartoony i think me and you uh, robert talked about that one of our first episodes yes as we had showed the comparison from the old ones to the new um before we shift over to you i just want to say um speaking about origins um one big thing that that was that was announced is that um origins now is not a walmart exclusive Yes, uh, you're seeing them everywhere. You're seeing them at Walmart. He's finding people are finding the battle armor, um, battle damage armor, He Man and Skeletor, like you said. None yet here. I, I'm so at Panther, right? Panther, that's I'm so jealous because I want one, I want one of the each of the that's battle damage will battle armor, and they yeah. haven't hit here yet. Um, but I'm keeping an eye on my uh, targets and Walmarts. Um, oh, they're hitting, they're, they're hitting like crazy, they're, they're hitting uh, Target actually better than they're hitting Walmart. Yeah, Target's getting yeah. their release, and yep. Walmart's have already been wiped because they've been the only place to get them. Where now, now people aren't because it wasn't really announced. People just kind of it went under the radar. The release, people started saying, "Hey, they're at Walmart," and then you found a press release somewhere buried. It wasn't like it was like you know they didn't come out and say, "Hey, we're now everywhere or now at Target." So the people are finding them at Target because they're not expecting to. So Robert, what do you got to show us? What tell us a little bit about your uh, mass, you know, mass of the universe history? You know, your childhood. What 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 passion you have for them? I mean. God, I, God, Kevin, like, and, and you, I mean, I, I don't even remember, like, when I first loved He-Man, I just, I've always been, uh, I mean, I had, like, the inflatable shield, I had the, the, uh, the light-up sword, which I really wish I could find that, um, I had a blow-up battle cat that, when it deflated, I threw it on my parents' dog and tried to ride the dog, um, uh, and the dog, you know, God bless her, she, she would, like, put up with me. Um, I'm sure there wasn't a Chihuahua, right? It was a no, it was, it was a German right? Shepherd. It was yep, a right. bigger <laughs> dog. A bigger dog. She was a sweetheart. Um, and and but I I I had I still have my Snake Mountain. I have I still have my Eternia, not complete, but it's still I've still got the the gist of it. That's impressive. Um, could could really do a really nice like apocalyptic battlescape if I wanted to. Um. I think they call that vintage. Yeah, vintage. Very <laughs> vintage. Very vintage. Um, I I still have some of my figures are kind of beat up, but like kind of like when I saw and I I worked at Toys R Us in college, like my freshman June, my freshman sophomore year, when they did like the re-release of the original. I should have bought them then. I was like, oh, those are really cool, but I was like really more into Star Wars, and so I didn't mm -hmm. jump on them when I should have. Uh, but when Super Seven came out, I got He Man and Skeletor and Men at Arms. I've always tried to get like those four, like He Man, Men at Arms, Skeletor, Tila. Uh, and then when 
I missed a few that I should have picked up, but you know, just uh, things happen. I didn't get like the the yeah, I didn't get Hordak. I didn't get the uh, the changing Superman or not Superman, changing He Man like I should have. So when Origins came out, and I saw the price point for them. Uh, you you couldn't I I couldn't pass that up. I mean, so like we talked about like one of the very first episodes, like the the new uh, Origins. And yeah, you're seeing these, like these are really hard to find. Uh, but now I'm seeing He-Man and Skeletor everywhere. Mm-hmm. To the point where I'm like, all right, well, maybe I'll, I can pick up another one when they maybe go on sale maybe and open it and actually like play with it because, so I did get this. This is amazing. Uh, I do have the power sled. That's cool. And apparently there's uh, Prince Adam with different colors. Apparently, some people have found like a Prince Adam with a different colored vest. I do like the fact that the old ones had like the velvet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do like that, but that, I don't. I don't care. It looks amazing, and but maybe that's. I I did see the sled on. I said that in the chat that we I've seen them on auction or eBay and other sites yeah. for a lot of money. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Maybe those maybe. Are the variants with different vests that are that are causing the rise because you still can get them in stores. Mm-hmm. So I did find. I, I found the battle damage He Man, uh-huh. and Kevin has my battle damage Skeletor, which I cannot wait to have. I do. Well, I'll be that to you soon. But uh, I found a Target, and this is when this is when I knew that Target. I didn't even know, and I I had read that Walmart had lost exclusivity, or whatever. But I was just walking through Target and found it hanging, and I was like, "Up, oh, gonna buy it." And my fiance like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, I'm "Buying this because it's mine now." It was, I haven't seen it since. Have not seen another one since. Seen a ton of single packs, He Man, Skeletor, uh. And I love the fact that, and I, and I think Kevin pointed this out, um, it has the new sculpt and the original yep. sculpt in it. Mm-hmm. So if you can... Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, so I for... There you go. And then I like the uh, the, the changing wow. blast. Weird. It's got angry Skeletor, and then it has happy Skeletor. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's yep. got a smile on there, and he's got a scowl on, on, on Like I'm just like, he's got like a smile on, like that's... Funny. But and you you can't see because it below. But I've got all my He Man like my '80s shelf down there and Battle Cats there and but I've got Battle I've got old school Battle Cat I've got uh, old school He Man like original OG and then like the classics which is like now like 150 opened mm-hmm. like that thing right. that thing that thing's insane like I could yeah, like buy is. all the waves with that one figure. One of the skeletons yeah. I have is like nuts. It's like I think a two hundred dollars as early. Yeah. Level it's worth yeah i mean i'm not gonna sell it so like there's no point in me keeping it in the box and never gonna sell it so yep in a in a in a pre-covid era um a couple years ago 22 three years ago me and my buddy were going yard sailing because it was like you know the collectible scene was just starting to get as hot for vintage as it is now Mm -hmm. and he were finding fines you know and he my buddy went to without me one morning one saturday morning or sunday morning and he came across this little portuguese lady selling stuff out of her house her son's off in college yada 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 all this stuff out there my, I wasn't there, mind you, so I was pretty ripping. My buddy comes across a box. Well, he sends me a pic, and it's a cardboard box, like, overflowing with, with Masters of the Universe for his figs. Like, overflowing. I'm like, where the hell did you find that? All originals. He's like, that ain't all. He then snapshots a picture of a, of a big, like, quart, uh, the, the gallon Ziploc bag or whatever. It has swords, shields, uh, weapons, mounts, uh, all the accessories that go for, like, Fifty dollars for if you find like an original sword or something on online, they're, they're stupid prices. As a kid, we all played with the toys. You know, we played mm-hmm. with them. We didn't. There was no such thing as collect uh, collector culture when it came to toys. Really, we opened them up and played with them in the mud. We lost the swords. We lost the pistols. I mean, I've gone into the. Uh, I have one of the original um, first run released uh, variant. Well, mis mis mishap molds with the um, Han Solo, the big head one, which was a mold overflow, which they caught and stopped. Those blasters, if you find his belt with his blaster, those things go for like 100 bucks if you can find a mint. You know, because we lost all the fit. We lost all the accessories as kids. You know, we threw them in a giant toy box, which was like a, a chest of, of, of glory, you know. Um, so my buddy's in that picture and he bought everything for like 30 bucks. The lady said, just take it for 20. And he said, no, actually, he gave her 40. Sorry, because he, he only <laughs> yeah. had two 20s. And she was like, no, it's, you know, 25. He's like, I, I can't, I can't do that here. Yeah, take this. And she was so grateful, you know, in, in Portuguese, you know, oh, thank you, Carita, you know, all happy. And, you know, that she was just getting rid of some junk. I was like, what address was this? Where is it? I'm going <laughs> to drop what I'm doing. He's like, they're all gone. 
what mom like you bastard <laughs> i was like oh man because yeah. he knows now this is where we're gonna go into the, the 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 history of me and he-man and masters of the universe as a kid you know my mother was single mom i think i mentioned it before you know we all kind of have similar stories where you know low income or just you know single parent household which was you know like atypical then Mm -hmm. In the in the 80s, you started seeing it more and more in the 90s, it became more common, you know, or dual working parents and, you know, kids having to go home after school to empty houses. My mother luckily did everything, gave me everything she could and went out without to give me what she could, you know. My mother at 40 years old, she still watches these shows. She watches the videos we do. You know, I love you, Ma. Thank you. You know, she's one of the supporters, you know, shout out to mom. Um, but she got me all of the He-Man stuff I could get as a kid. You know, I had Almost every figure. Mm -hmm. I had the Battle Cap handle. I had a lot of the vehicles. Uh, mind you, sometimes we got them secondhand. You know, you find them in a yard sale, same thing. But then they weren't worth anything. So you'd get them for a quarter or a dollar. Yep. Um, you know, and I remember the smells. Like, I'm a very sensor memory guy. You know, smells, sounds. Like, I think I mentioned with, uh, we were talking about Crane, where I can smell, I can remember what the plastic smelled like yeah. on the body. I remember the funk that Beast Man smelled like because of that stupid felt that would get that mildewy smell from sitting inside the bottom of your toy box. You mm -hmm. know, we all had those toys. Mm -hmm. um, and now with the Origins line being released, besides the color variation, and that's just the increased quality in manufacturing today than what we had in the 80s. The 80s were trying to replicate the cartoon, but they couldn't get that vibrant of a color into the plastic molds. Like to stay in the plastic saturation, it would just fade. Mm -hmm. uh, now we know manufacturing is top notch yeah. you can get detailed faces you can scan my face and make a horrible looking fig because it'll look just like me <laughs> you know it'll be on the uh, it'll be a peg warmer for sure draw on the peg warmer but anyways you know it's i i, lo I love master universe it brings me back as a kid these new figs are awesome you know they're not they're not you know 47 points of articulation where you can bend and mold and move or right. you know but they have increased in articulation i think i yeah. you know they do have more than what they were just oh we god yes with the, exactly with the rubber band joints you know um i have uh, one of my recent finds i don't have it with me it's actually in my car i forgot to bring it in i found the uh, sky sled um as well um at my local walmart um they had a panther as well i grabbed that i haven't seen target yet with the releases but my next finds will definitely be the uh, battle armor one. That's what I'm looking for. Cause I, I remember those as a kid. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. They're, they're awesome. You got the you got the Walmart Panther because the Walmart Panther is flocked. The yes. One, you got the you got that one. That's the that's yeah. the that's the. Oh barrel. wow. Is the one that I got for uh, Robert. This one's not flocked. This is. The oh, flock. I didn't. I thought they all were flocked. I never even realized because the no. one I found at Walmart was sitting on a shelf. It wasn't like they had a couple. <laughs> I didn't even think of it. This one's non-flocked. It's uh, I got it from Target. Oh wow. Well, I got to find that even know. So I, I would have posted that in the chat. I knew they were out there. I didn't realize it was a variant at the time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's doing pretty well on the auction sites. I well, then I'll have to. I take bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> if I can buy two or three more for the price of the flocked yeah. ones, eBay, here I go. I don't know. Maybe, Robert, do you want Ronnie to find you the the, the, the flocked one? or do you Yeah, I'll look for it for everybody in the chat now okay. that I know you guys. Yeah. I, mean, you... I mean, more than likely, I mean, it's 25. I might just get both. Okay. Right. I'll right. look because I'm gonna be heading to Walmart tonight because I gotta do some last minute shopping and uh, I'll actually do I'll go through the with Lyles and look because this was just the other day it was uh, last weekend so okay so um you know that's my story for Master Universe you know um we all have memories as a kid oh mm -hmm. yeah you know and nostalgia I say it every week and I'm gonna keep on saying it. nostalgia drives our group at least drives us you know uh, and yeah. um yeah exactly I mean and I don't see it getting any any slower you know no. even though you know in the next year or two with covid situation hopefully the vaccines will come out we'll all get back to the norm mm -hmm. this family that we've created with a toy kind of mood and the viewers out there that will watch us every week we're going to keep on rolling you know we're going to keep on because this is a family now this is all about you know our toys our collections our history our story nostalgia mm -hmm. um you know and we all go hunting every week so yeah. speaking of that i know you guys have been hunting well especially uk kevin have been hunting on yeah. the madman you guys uh, in LA area, man, start yeah. us off with the plunder. Well, my personal plunder, I didn't really get much my, for myself. Uh, I did pick up the Jazz Studio Series. That's awesome. Uh, um, because they don't do a masterpiece jazz yet. They have a third party one, which is 180 bucks, and this is only 20, so that's a no brainer, especially like, you know, 
during the economy. I was just like, I think I'd just rather just have the twenty dollar one for now, and he'll be my placeholder until you know Takara Hasbert is like a masterpiece version of Jazz. So I did pick this up, but I did also pick up, as you guys saw in the chat, I picked up probably about ten to twelve like things for Tra Travis Moody this week. He got, <laughs> I got them. Uh, basically, they had Blur, they had Cup, they had um, what's the other one in that the Jazz? And then I got him Cyclonus, and then I found him uh, a lot of Kingdom figures as well. And then yesterday, I just got him a Grief Karga and a, a Quill from Black Series. Nice. This was, this was the other thing I found on my uh, my, my uh, plunder hunt. I got that's a, awesome. I got a Red Ninja. Um, I do want a few more. Probably what I'll do because I am going to open them and like uh, for me, the Red Ninja it's got a lot of significance with um, Electra. Mm -hmm. um, not Red, the Hand Ninja. Sorry, the yep. Hand Ninja's got a, a lot of um, influence with Electra and also Psylocke. Um, she, when she um, died, when she was like British and she wasn't, you know, Asian, like with her right. story, they brought her back to life with the uh, crimson something or other. She, they're the whole reason she's got that like the red mark down her eye. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So. Any uh, any other plunder this week, Kev? Yes. Uh, plunder this week? Yeah. Not really. No. I mean, I just got that. That was right. it for myself. I got that. Awesome. For, I got that for Robert. Yeah, Robert. So you got you got one set of plunder there. What else you got this week? You got anything? Um. Show? So, so the past week, uh, the past like three weeks have actually been really good. I've, I've got uh, Miles and Gwen Stacy from Into the Spider Verse. I found them, uh, Battle Armor. And then uh, there's a toy shop here in Houston called Super Happy Incredible Toys. Mm -hmm. And I found me Gung Ho. Nice. So I finally have pretty much all my He Man completed. And then. Ronnie, because of your insistence, pretty much, uh, War Machine was on sale on Amazon, and it's it's beautiful. It's straight, like we said, like straight out of the, off the screen. It's straight off like the the old Iron Man cartoon. Right. He looks he looks fantastic. I love it. Yep. And he was one of those Amazon hot deals when I grabbed yep. him. Did you get him? Did you pay full? Or was he? Well, it was on sale. Deal? I think yeah, for, I think I got him for like twenty. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, so my, my plunder this week, I have one. It's a big one. Um, I have been a GameStop, you know, I don't want to give the, the trade treat secret out, but I, I like, I want to see them succeed and keep grow, keep on growing. They do uh, week uh, deals of the day, you know, 24 hour deal. And mine this week, I actually saved a lot of money on it. I'm going to have to move back for this one, but uh, I'm going to give you a little hint. If I can't see it. Look out. <laughs> Love it. Uh, it is the uh, Palpatine Force Effects Black Series Elite. Mm -hmm. um, it is all steel. It is a, it is heavy. I mean, just the hilt alone weighs probably a good five six pounds. It has bolts action, um, where like, you know the startup thing. If you hold it, it goes into lightning mode. Palpatine. Oh, mode. that's nice. Um, if you clad, do it has the bolt deflection. I don't know if you can see it. Like with your, you know, deflecting glass of bolts. That's cool. And then it also has a cut feature, which if I try to cut something, it does the, like it's cutting through metal. Mm -hmm. That's pretty, you know, this thing right here, I'm going to give a close up on the heel. It has the roll. You can't really see it on camera too well because all my lighting, but this color is like a rose gold color, just like in the film. Mm -hmm. um, the heel here, so you kind of see the hue here. It's like a rose colored uh, copper. Yep. And it has the copper, the stainless steel, even the heel down here. Uh, force effects, you know, lightsabers, they're high-end lightsabers in my eyes. I mean, you, you can spend more, but they're pretty awesome. Um, that was my find for the week. You know, I'm happy with it. First one I ever got. I am a Sith at heart, always voting for the bad guys, you know, Decepticons and so forth. Um, but, you know, that's that's a wrap-up of this week, boys. Ladies and germs and kids of all ages, folks. This has been a uh, toy kind of mood. Um, I do want to do a sign-off. Please, if you like our episode, you know, like share subscribe subscribe number one thing is like the videos if you like the videos we're going to keep putting out content like um, us yep. exactly like us you know follow us on our social media uh i'm at uh, instagram doom 58 robert's going to post up some links up there so yep. you're going to see him um we also have toy kind of mood it's a, a a toy at toy mood on twitter i'm also ron bertles on twitter again you'll see the post up um Coming up in the next month, uh, I'm a, I don't I don't really have mentioned it much here, but we I am a huge Magic the Gathering player, uh, collector for since the 90s. You know I gave it up for years. Mm -hmm. uh, I would be doing unboxing in the next set coming next month, uh, cracking packs. You guys can look forward to seeing that. 
Robert, always a uh, pleasure. Find me, find me uh, on Twitter and uh, Instagram with uh, at Bayou City Geeks and at Rob Bex, uh, too. So find me there. All right, Kevin. Uh, I don't have any social media yep. handles to promote. All right. But I should be doing uh, an unboxing uh, probably tomorrow for uh, Snake Mountain. That's right. Kids are unboxing Snake Mountain, the huge box unbundle. Our boy Kev, this has been a toy kind of mood. Peace out, folks. Peace. Bye, yeah.